Hi there, I just thought I'd do a quick overview of the equipment that we've been using to film our Mongolia horse riding trip. I'm out here in Karo Tass, which is about 100 kilometers south of Olgi in the far west of Mongolia. Uh, we've been riding for about 12 days now, and we have been using a variety of equipment, as you might imagine, to capture the trip, both through photography and film. Um, and one of the key cameras that we've been using is the Drift HD camera. It's an action camera and it has been truly awesome. It has allowed us to get some brilliant shots um, that we wouldn't have normally been able to get using a traditional hand pocket camera like the Sanyo HD 1000, which we're also carrying for just general kind of stock shots. The Drift HD camera actually comes with a number of accessories, uh, ones that you can mount onto your helmet, interchangeable backs, so, uh, a dust cover and a, another cover on the back as well, which I've got here, which has a mic in and a USB flap as well. Uh, it records directly to micro SD, which is, which is great. It's obviously a very light and portable format to be carrying around, not like a CF card. We also have with us a waterproof case for the drift camera. We haven't used this yet on our horse riding trip, but we're hoping to get, uh, put it to use for some pack rafting down the Hob River in a week's time or so. Um, it's a brilliant case. You can actually operate the camera through the, uh, the individual buttons here. To record the sound during our trip, we have two audio devices. I've got a lapel mic here. I think it's a Speedlink or something like that, which is just a a cheap lapel mic but it really seems to do the job. We've actually been using that on the drift as well um, and we've also got a Audio-Technica Pro 24 CM with a wind jammer on the top as well. It has a hot shoe connection as well which I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a second. One of the more random bits of equipment that we have to film the trip is something that I guess doesn't really have a name but I guess you could call it the magic stick. It's basically a walking pole as you can see, I've covered this pole in loads of tape, um, but on the actual top of the walking pole, um, we've sugarooed on a universal hot or cold shoe um, connection. And this has basically allowed us to both mount the drift camera as well as some of our audio recording devices like our Audio-Technica Pro 24 CM. So that basically we can use it both as like a a stick to get really high high shots or really far out shots by uh, putting the stick obviously way out from the horse. We can also get low shots by putting them nice and low down by the horse's feet. Um, and you can also uh, use the hot shoe connection on the uh, Audio-Technica Pro 24 um, and actually turn this thing into a boom mic with uh, the help of a three meter extension cord. So, so pretty nifty piece of equipment. This is obviously something I'd bring anyway because I'm an old man with a rickety back so it's no extra weight to stick on a universal uh, adapter and Suguru it on and it yeah, does the job great. The last bit of kit I'd like to talk about is the flash arm bracket which we also brought along. You can pick this up off eBay for three or four pounds and also a cold or hot shoe adapter that basically screws into the flash arm bracket and also screws into the universal adapter. This basically allows us to screw the drift camera onto the bracket, mount it onto our magic stick, and then clip our lapel mic for a stable platform for recording our audio whilst on the move. We're pretty pleased with the setup that we have. We're definitely very happy to be using the drift camera. It's enabled us to get some brilliant shots that we would not have been able to otherwise and we're excited to see how the final footage for Mongolia turns out. Hopefully this was of help and interest. Um, let me know what you think, and thanks for, thanks for watching.